Salut, salut, you wonderful simmers, and welcome. Today we are going to be having a look at the second part of how to set up through the ages. So in the last episode, I went through the introduction and showing this brand new challenge to you guys. I'm really excited about sharing this with you. So today we are going to have a look at the mods that you could potentially have in your game as well as where to find the custom content for the Stone Age. We are on my website gamingwithshire.com where you can find the challenge. Of course I have not got all the parts out yet because I am I am writing it as I am playing it as well so that I make sure that it flows nicely and it works and all the rest of it. So today let's have a look at the mods and custom content. Okay so I am going to be opening new tabs for this. So here we have the mods for through the ages so first off the bat of course you have MC command and I go through some of the options that you will want to be putting on there you need to use a computer to get to some of the settings and that's easy enough to do just delete the computer once you have finished doing that another mod you may choose to have is slice of life this will just add a lot more realism into the game however I don't personally want that in the game but if you guys do, there is a link there for it. I am using specifically as one, you have the woohoo part of the MC command. And with that, you can disable try for baby and you can add in a risky element. So every time they woohoo, there is a chance that they could become pregnant. Then you also have the ability to enable auto paying the bills as well as stopping children from going to school and teens and not only that but you can control some of the phone usage so you can stop notifications coming through all the time via text so let's head up here is the download this is going to take you through to the mc command center and you're going to go to mccc downloads okay so all you're going to do is <laughs> click on it and click on it and that's going to appear down here we are going to minimize that and I have my downloads folder as well as my through the ages folder I will show you where to put this folder at the very end of the video so if you need the path for that then make sure you watch it for there okay so if you do not have an unzipping software or whatever it's called there's loads of tutorials on YouTube you just want to type in how to extract on Windows or Mac or whatever you're on. Uh, my computer has one, so I'm just going to go extract and it will just do it for me. So there's that and there's that one. So that's both of them done. Now you do have to remember that your file depth is a thing. So if, for instance, these were in another folder, then they wouldn't read the game wouldn't be able to read it because there's too many folders to for the program to see them. All we're going to do is drag these into our desired folder name. Right, so that's that done. That is literally the first part. In less than five minutes, I've told you how to install the MC command. Okay, so next we are going to be heading back to the website, to the main page and we are gonna go down to the custom content. Now, obviously I've done the history challenge up to generation five, so these are the places I have found have the best content, maybe not the easiest to navigate though in some cases. <laughs> okay then, so here we are through the ages, historical CC. So I have four different places that I personally find has good content for this. So you have Stacy on Tumblr, and let's go there first. So there are a few bits over here. There's not loads, but there's some stuff. So we have this one, and to download that, we are going to do... Right, where were we? Because there was a spider running across my desk and the cat just ignored it. Okay, so uh, we're gonna download load as a merged file. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will take us through to the sim file share, which I quite like to use prehistoric challenge there we go and so there's also there's a couple of other bits here and again we will download the whole deck download that one grab that one okay so we are on Anika's website here and so what we're gonna do is go down to my cc under my cc she has a lovely dictionary here prehistoric celtic ancient greek rome 
So obviously for this part we want prehistoric and we're going to go to all. She has an index of all of the mods that are on here but there is no order which is my only complaint. So to bring up this index you need to click on any of the items, go to download and this will bring up the everything that's on here. So for instance we want this loincloth so we will go control F which is going to bring up the search bar in the top right hand corner and if we just type in loin if I can spell then you can see it is here so we can click that and download uh, that's going to appear at the bottom and we go back and we can repeat this process for all the items we want so prehistoric winter furs so let's go control F and go prehistoric and it's winter there you go prehistoric for outfits and so you're going to need to repeat that process a few times to get the items that you want but I suggest you use this part as a reference then type in the titles that you're after in here and download each thing rather than trying to go through and decide if it's in your correct era because not all of it is obvious okay teen new moon is the next one and they have a few bits and bobs so we're gonna download that this just comes as one folder that has all of these bits in for each category I, I do like that it's all in one okay so that's done we don't need that anymore and then the last one this is an amazing website sims zoo but oh my god it is I don't know if this is easier or the other or um, which one is harder to use this one or this one I'm not sure who has the worst website but there's so much good content on here that it is worth going through but it's not all English <laughs> so um, it does make it a little bit harder so uh, as you just saw I clicked on Stone Age S4 Sims 4 so that we can go through and download individually every piece here <laughs> there's no quick way of doing this guys there really isn't and I wish there was um, and also it means that you have to go through this and you need to because for instance I um, even though I might not I do I have the prehistoric cast and the prehistoric uh, build and buy so you have to go through all of these pages twice so that because obviously when this is for the buy mode whereas this is for the CAS and it, when it goes in your downloads folder it will just be like this and so you then have to uh, go through it all which is painful oh dear so what I'm gonna have to do with this one is you go right click and then you go download and then you can close that and you are going to have to do this over and over and over again until you get all of the items that you want. okay then so here we have all of the ones that we have just downloaded this is all of the clothing options that I have now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these because I know they don't tend to work 
all sorted now what you're gonna do is start going through and extracting all of these and just doing this over and over again until you have done all of them I will be back once I have finished this so I am going to hold and drag and sh try that again I'm going to hold and drag and then shift over these two control and then delete everything all the zipped up folders because we no longer need them okay next up let's just move this over and we have our cast folder here so what we're gonna do is open folder drag that out go back up and delete it open that up and drag all of these these are the ones that we want you don't need the pictures and things of them and delete that click on this one again we don't need the picture we just need the package and oh replace it apparently i've already got one of them okay and delete that pull those over and it will tell you if you have copies you do not need copies so we have a couple of different bits so there's like a note that goes with this as well so again we don't need that we just drag that one in and delete the remaining of the folder and we're going to repeat this process over and over and over again and then what we're gonna do is when we have finished this we are gonna go into the build and buy and we're gonna repeat the process we will go over here and we will uh, download all of the items that we want so you're gonna want decorative items um, there's haystacks in there now so you don't need to worry about those and we do have animals in the game which we'll be unlocking there's basket supplies there's different types of beds and stuff there's carts all of these things will aesthetically make the world feel more immersive and more stone agey and all the rest of it so then you're gonna go ahead and do that one thing I will also say is some people will feel like they need to have all of these items in separate folders as well. So all of the shoes in one folder, all of the tops in one folder, all the dresses in one folder. That's all well and good if you're playing with loads of different types of CC. Whereas when you're playing with something like this, it's easier to keep them all in small folders. Uh, so it's easier to keep them all in a folder together so all of your cast and all of your buy mode because when you go to the next era you can just pull out this folder and add in the next era really easily Way hey, so there we go i have an empty folder now now i am gonna go ahead and download all of the build items that i want off camera uh for now let's quickly make sure our CC works now okay then so now we need to make sure it goes into the correct place so to do this we need to navigate to our mods folder so to do that you need to go to your documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods I have some of my other mods in here so I will put these into my mods folder because I have different folders for different types of game that I play. I have this open and I'm going to drag that in there. You will always have this resource folder there. So now they're in the correct place, I can get my studio open. Uh, to download this, it will be in the description below and that's The Sims 4 Studio. This allows you to look at all of your CC, so I can go to My CC. This is also where a lot of people go to do, uh, to create, it's their first step into creating custom content. So as you can see, it's all the different folders in our electronic art folder. So we have our mods and then we have our prehistoric cast. So we can click on that and it shows our little Simmy wearing the hat. 
and go down and all we're going to do is go down and make sure all of these are there now what you will find is if it's a broken piece of cc it will have that really weird um like red and black question mark thing or there won't be anything there at all and it will be like the sims missing a part of their body you don't want to see that if you do you can see which folder it is and you can just simply go in and delete it and to do that again you're going to want to if you find a piece that is broken go in there and then just match up what the name is to delete it and so yeah this is all we're going to do very quickly and there we have it that's all the pieces of clothing i have i think there's a good range of clothing there so that when we are playing we're gonna have you know all the sims will be looking slightly different okay so that is it for this episode as i said before i'm gonna go on and i will uh, download all of the prehistoric build by my items that i want they're from the same websites again i'm not using anything differently and it works exactly the same as your cast items if you have enjoyed this as always please do like subscribe share 